Alkaline soils occur due to the accumulation of salts within the soil profile. Uh, these salts um, are derived from weathering of the parent material or the soil fabric and also can be added to the soil through the action of wind and water. So alkaline soils mainly uh, occur in environments where there's low leaching of salts within the soil. Alkaline soils are often sodic and also saline. Sodic soils reduce um, the stability of the soil to the extent that water and also air movement within the soil is restricted. Saline soils restrict the availability of water um, to plants, mainly due to the increased osmotic potential. The costs of um, both um, sodicity and also salinity in WA is estimated to be about $600 million per year. An additional cost of alkalinity is that some essential nutrients are less available in highly alkaline soils than they are in neutral soils. Soils which have high levels of clay or a loamy, which have low drainage potential in low rainfall areas, are usually the soils which accumulate salts and are most prone to alkalinity. Alkaline soils which are sodic, but not saline, um, can be managed with the addition of gypsum. Gypsum increases the water infiltration and also air movement within the soil profile. Soils which are both sodic and saline are our most challenging soils. And perhaps the best way to manage these soils is to reduce inputs um, so that the inputs match the lowered yield potential.